everyone, welcome back. Since my last couple projects involved uh, my beeswax candles, I decided to show you how to make the wicks for the candles. I do have a video, I'll put a link down below on how to actually make a candle, but I've never made a video on how to make the wicks. So what you're gonna need is this butcher's uh, twine, 100% cotton. It's gotta be 100% cotton, no polyester or anything like that, okay? So you need a scissor to cut some length of this. You can make this as long as you want. We'll just use a little piece like this for demonstration purposes. We'll set that aside. Okay, bring one cup of water just to the boil. I, you just saw two or three bubbles, shut it off, set it aside, and then um, put it into a cup. You're gonna use some plain old salt. You're going to want one tablespoon of salt. Pour that into your water. And you're going to need some borax. If you never use this stuff, it's great for everything. You can use it as laundry detergent booster, and uh, it says it right on the box. I mean, this stuff's amazing. So you're going to want three tablespoons of the borax it's very simple to do it just takes a while for everything to soak and dry up so you're going to want to mix that up Then you're going to want to get your butcher's twine and just drop it in. It'll float for a little bit, and then as it gets saturated, it'll sink to the bottom. Again, you can put as much as this will hold into it. Now, you're going to want to let this dry. Not dry, you're going to want to let this soak for at least 12 hours up to 24 hours. And after that time, it's going to look like this. Look at that. See all those crystals that formed on that? I actually have two big pieces in here. The other one's stuck down at the bottom. Okay? This was 12 hours. So now at this point, you're going to take this. Now, I like to um, hang it just as it is, and when it's dry, I knock some of those crystals off because you don't need to have them all on. So you're going to separate this all out into a single strand, and if you know you're going to have a couple nice sunny days out, you'll hang it out in the sun. So I'll show you how I hang it up and tell you how long it needs to dry for. Okay, so I have them hanging out from a tree outside of my yard just from a plain old hanger and it's going to be a beautiful day today there's not a cloud in the sky and the sun is shining so this will dry now you need to let this dry for at least two days as you can see it's swinging in the breeze uh, I'm not sure if you can see the crystal shining off of the sun but it's pretty cool so at least two days it's got to be thoroughly thoroughly dry if you want to be hundred percent sure leave it for three days and then when they're all dry, I'll come back and show you what to do. Hello everyone. Welcome back. So the wick is dry. As you can see, it's increased in its size compared to how it started out originally. Um, I knocked most of the giant crystals off. I did that while it was outside because it makes a mess. <laughs> so this is what we end up with. There's quite a bit here. Now you can cut it into length. And you could dip it in some wax, and it'll be easier to use that way if you're making something like in a glass or, or some type of uh, mold, if you don't have a way of um, stretching it out and holding it. So, just to give you an idea, here is a regular piece of cotton twine untreated, and then here is the treated, okay? So it's much thicker. 
It's just one coat of beeswax on this. You could use this untreated and it'll burn pretty quick. This piece will probably last two to three times longer than this will and it'll be a much brighter, larger uh, flame. So it's always a good idea to use the treated stuff. But I mean, in a pinch, if you had to, you could use this. So there you go. That's how I do stuff. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.